everyone. My name is Gillian and I'm one of the speech and language therapy assistants at Evelina London Community Speech and Language Therapy team. Welcome to Chatter Time. So it is so good to see you here already. Hopefully you can hear me. I do often have a few sound issues, but please do just pop in the comments uh, if you can't hear anything that I'm saying. Um, so let me ex explain how Chatter Time works if you've not been along before. So it's split into two parts. The first part is aimed at the grown-ups. I'll be telling you a little bit about uh, what we're gonna be getting up to in Chatter Time today. Uh, and also uh, talking through our tip of the week as well, which we like to share with you to give you some ideas of how to encourage early communication uh, in your children at home. After that, we call all the little ones back and we do our kind of circle time activities. We do a story, we do some songs. Lovely to see you. We've got some names in the chat already. Hi, Ahmed and Zishan, lovely to see you. If you do wanna put your names in the chat or your child's name in the chat, um, then a little bit later on when we sing hello to everyone, I'll be able to include your child in that, which will be wonderful. So if you do have your little ones with you now, feel free to send them off for a few minutes. Don't worry, I will call them back uh, as soon as we get onto the main child focused bit um, but to just talk you through you adults what we're doing today um, we are going to be starting as we always do with our hello song and as I said before pop your child's name in the chat and we will make sure that they get sung to then we'll be having our story now today the story is about snack time so I focused all of our kind of themes today on uh, food uh, something that is a, a, a topic close to my heart. Um, so we're going to be thinking about different animals and what kind of snacks they have and maybe what kind of snacks we might like to eat as well. After that, we're going to be doing some singing. We're going to be singing some food themed songs as well. So if you've got any ideas for food themed songs, please do pop them in the chat too. After that, our activity for today is with my friend. Uh, let me, I'll introduce you. He's called... Stuart the sock puppet and um, this is something that you can quite easily make at home you just need a sock uh, and you can stick some little eyes on I just cut mine out of paper and masking tape them on and we're going to be giving the children some choices of what Stuart might like to eat and um, so I've got some different objects and we'll be deciding what kind of thing he might like to eat today for our attention and listening task hi Brielle uh, and then after that we're going to be singing goodbye to everyone at the end now if you've not seen one of these before this Ooh, it's a bit too long for my camera here. <laughs> it's a visual timetable. Now we use them quite a lot in our therapy sessions because for children it can be quite hard to understand the order of things and that means that waiting can be really difficult. Imagine you went to an exercise class and there wasn't a clock on the wall. That has happened to me a few times and you're constantly thinking, oh, I don't know when this is going to be finished. I don't know when I'm going to get to the part that I like. Um, so having kind of a visual a visual idea of how things are going to run is a great way of, of keeping them from being too frustrated about their schedule. So what happens uh, when you're using a visual timetable is you show them a couple of activities or all of the activities, depending on kind of their level of understanding. And then once you've done each of the activities, you take it off and then you can either post it into a box or you can just put it in an envelope or something like that. And that shows them what they've got next on the list. And that means that if they're excited about something that's coming a little bit later on in their day, uh, then they know what they need to get through first in order to get to that thing. And you can use that for a morning routine or a nighttime routine or your whole day. You might find when your child goes to nursery or school, they use some similar kind of visuals, um, but we find it that it can be really helpful um, for children to help them to just understand time and timing uh, and routines. So it is time for me to share with you our tip of the week, which this time around is repeat and add a word. Now, no matter what stage of communication your child is at, whether they're using words, whether they're not, whether they're using a few words in a sentence or single words or noises, um, this can be a really, really helpful way of encouraging them and giving them um, some extra language to add on. So say your child is looking at a car, now they might be pointing at it, uh, you know that they're looking at it and interested in it because they're communicating to you by pointing. And at that point, you can add the word for it. So you could say car. And if they start making the noise, so they might be going ah, uh, ah, uh, or da, da, or it could be a, no a noise that you know that they're talking about the car, but you're not entirely sure um, if they're getting the sounds right yet, then you can say car and, and model that sound and that word for them. If they know the word car and they're saying car, you can say, yes, it's an 
orange car. So you're adding some language to that. And each kind of each, each stage that they're at with their language, you can just continue to add words to that, giving them a little bit at a time so you're not overwhelming them with lots of language. If I, if I was at the stage where I knew that this was a car and someone came along and said, yes, it's a really fast car, it's going really fast. Uh, it's orange and it can go upside down. Then actually that's not gonna be entirely helpful, but being really simplified with your language and just saying, yes, it's an orange car. And if they're driving it around, kind of commenting on what they're saying can be really, really helpful. Um, so that's our tip for this week, repeat and add a word. So if you're at home playing with your child this week, I would encourage you to kind of focus on that for about five to 10 minutes um, on a daily basis. It really helps to build up that as a habit to really concentrate um, on just doing it little and often, repeating what they're saying and adding a word. So it is time to bring our children back. It's time for the main part of our chatter time. Children, it's time for chatter time. So if they're nearby, do call them back, bring them back to the screen if they fancy it, uh, and we will get started with the main, the main part of our chatter time. And as I said before, if you are with your little one today and you're able to comment on this video, then do pop their names into the chat and then I'll be able to sing directly to them when we do our hello song. So let's begin. Hello everyone, my name is Gillian and I'm so excited to see you here today. Now let me tell you my friends what we're going to be getting up to in chatter time this morning. So we're going to be starting with saying hello, we're going to have a story about lots of things to eat, we're going to be doing some singing, we're going to be playing with my friend Stuart the sock puppet and then we're going to be singing goodbye. So let's start off by saying hello to everyone. Now I can see that we've got Brielle, Ahmed and Zishan. If anyone else is there that you would like me to sing to, do put their names in the chat, but we'll also sing hello everyone and hello children as well for everyone whose name I don't quite know. So here we go. We're gonna start off with Ahmed, Zishan and Brielle. Hello Ahmed, hello Zishan. Hello Brielle, it's good to see you here. Hello grown-ups, hello children, hello everyone, it's good to see you here. Hello everyone, so good to see you. Oh, we've got another name here. Hello Kyson, hello everyone, hello everyone, it's good to see you here. Great stuff. Now you're welcome to keep putting names in the chat. I'll just probably say hello as we go through because our hello song is now finished. Our hello is finished. And now it's time for our story. Now I don't know about you, but I love eating snacks. There are so many different things that I'd like to eat. But I'm a bit confused today because I've got some different pictures of different snacks and I need to know whose snack they are. So I wonder if you can help me. Whose snack is this? It's a juicy leaf. Hmm. <gasps> this is Caterpillar's snack. Whose snack is this? It's a smelly fish. This is penguin snack. Penguin snack. Whose snack is this? It's an orange carrot. This is horse's snack. Hi, Aya. Horse's snack. Whose snack is this? It's some spiky branches. This is giraffe's snack. Giraffe's snack. Whose snack is this? It's a chewy bone. This 
is dog snack. Dog loves the chewy bone. Whose snack is this? It's a tasty acorn. This is squirrel's snack. It's squirrel's snack. Whose snack is this? It's some um, green grass. This is cow's snack. Cow loves munching on green grass. Hmm, whose snack is this? It's a little fly. This is spider's snack. Spider catches little flies in his web. Whose snack is this? It's some crunchy seeds. This is bird's snack. Bird loves to fly down and eat the crunchy seeds on the bird feeder. Whose snack is this? It's a yellow banana. This is chimp's snack. Yum, yum, yum. He likes to swing through the trees and pick the yellow bananas. And whose snack is this? It's a yummy yogurt. This is my snack. It's my snack. Oh, let's see if we can remember what snacks the animals liked. So, cow liked the green grass. Yum, 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 says cow. Penguin liked the smelly fish. Giraffe liked the spiky branches. Bird liked the crunchy seeds. Horse, oh, which way up? Upside down horse. Horse liked the orange carrot. Dog liked the chewy bone. Caterpillar liked the juicy leaf. Squirrel liked the tasty acorn. Spider liked the little fly. Monkey, or chimpanzee actually, liked the yellow banana. And I, oh, I liked the yummy yogurt. Do you have a favourite snack that you like eating? Hmm, I'm sure you do. I'm sure there's lots of snacks that you like eating at home. So that was our story about what animals like different snacks. And now our story is finished. Our story is finished. So now it's time to do some singing. Now today we've got some songs that are about different foods. But if you know any songs about foods that you'd like us to sing, do feel free to put them in the comments. And if I know them, then we can sing them together as well. So I'll show you the songs that we've got. We have got Banana Song, which is a big favorite. I think that um, Chimpanzee would like that one too. We've got Toast Song, which is a new one that I've learned that I really like. And we've got Jelly on a Plate. 
So if there's any of these you particularly like or any other food songs that you know, do pop them in the comments and we will have a go at singing them. So I think we're gonna start off with my new favorite, the toast song. And if you don't know it, don't worry, I'm sure you'll pick it up nice and quickly. At the end, there's a chance to pop up like some toast coming out of the toaster. So if you're big enough to jump, do feel free to jump. And if you're small enough that your grown up can pick you up, see if they're willing to do that. So the toast song, how does it start? I remember it starts, I like toast for breakfast. Here we go. I like toast for breakfast when I get out of bed. I like to push the button down in the toaster with my bread. The toast goes down, the heat comes up. And when it's done, I pop right up. See if you can pop, pop. Good job, everyone. Now, I didn't get the words quite right there, so I think we're gonna try it one more time. I can't promise I'm gonna get the words right either, but it's quite fun to pop up now that you know when to do it. Here we go, I like toast for breakfast. I like toast for breakfast when I get out of bed. I like to push the button down on the toaster with my bread, the bread goes down. The toast comes up, and when it's done, I pop right up. Pop! Yay! Well done, everyone. I'm sure you did some great popping up, like the toast coming out of the toaster. Okay, so next up, what shall we do? We've got je oh, jelly on a plate, and we've got banana song. Hmm, which one shall we sing next? I think we'll do jelly on a plate next. Jelly on a plate and we're gonna wibble wobble in this one and then we're gonna do sausage in a pan and sizzle sizzle. So here we go. Jelly on a plate, jelly on a plate. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, jelly on a plate. Sizzle, oh, sausage in a pan, sausage in a pan. Sizzle, 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 sausage in a pan. Good singing. So I think it's time to do our banana song. Now this is a firm favorite in my house. So here we go. It's time to start by peeling our banana. Peel banana, peel, peel banana. Peel banana, peel, peel banana. Chop banana, chop, chop banana. Chop banana, chop, chop. Banana, mash, banana, mash, mash, banana, mash, banana, mash, mash, banana, eat, banana, eat, eat, banana, eat, banana, eat, eat, banana, go, bananas, go, go, bananas, go, bananas, go, go, bananas. Oh, that one is very fun. It's nice to do that at home when you're eating a banana and help get your child to join in and pretend to chop a mash or whatever you're doing with your banana. So now our singing is finished. Our singing is finished. So now it's time to introduce you to Stuart, the sock puppet. Come on then, Stuart. He's a little bit hungry, so I'll try, I'll try and make sure that he doesn't, doesn't try and bite. <laughs> Stuart. Now we've got some food for him today and you guys can help me choose uh, what he's going to eat next. So let me show you some of the things that we're going to see if Stuart likes and if there's anything that your child says that Stuart should eat please pop it in the comments and we'll make sure that we see if Stuart would like to eat it. So we've got a passion fruit, a lemon, Stuart likes the look of that one, a basketball, some broken sunglasses, he does usually like eating everything, a slice of yummy cake, a golden shaky egg, a paintbrush, a car, a toothbrush, and some bubbles. Not necessarily things that I'd like to have for my lunch, but Stuart is a big fan of all things. He likes to eat everything. And if that felt a little bit like the generation game, we're gonna give a couple of choices at a time uh, as well. So, 
Stuart, would you like to eat a basketball or a passion fruit first? Hmm, basketball or passion fruit? I think basketball. And let's see if you can catch it when you eat it too. Here we go. Oh, that was unsuccessful. <laughs> Not very good with the throwing or kicking things on this. Uh, I think I'll just feed it to you normally. Here we go. Oh, Stuart loved that one. That was a very tasty basketball. Okay, guys. So next up, would you like to eat a lemon or a golden shaky egg, Stuart? What do you think Stuart should eat everyone at home? If you want to put, put it in the comments what you think he should have next out of a lemon or a golden shaky egg, then we can see if Stuart would like to eat that. I think this lemon's going to be a little bit sour for him, but I reckon he's up for the challenge. I quite like eating lemons every so often. Anyone got any ideas what you think Stuart should have next? A golden shaky egg or the lemon? I think we'll try him with a lemon. Let's see if you like this one, Stuart. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Oh, oh no, the sourness has got to him. His face has folded in on himself. Okay, that was quite a sour one there, Stuart. Let's see if we can cool your mouth down a little bit with either some broken sunglasses or a car not again not my new, usual snack but Stuart likes eating everything let's see if you'd like to eat the car Stuart <laughs> oh he did like eating that one what should we give him next we've got the cake or some bubbles some cake or some bubbles what do you guys think Stuart should have next the cake or the bubbles. Let's see if he'd like to try and eat some bubbles. Stuart, you're gonna to have to help me open this one. I'm trying to spill it all over everywhere. Okay, let's try this. Oh, that was good bubble eating there, Stu. Okay, let's try another one. He likes eating bubbles. Yeah, he really likes eating bubbles so much that one of his eyes is starting to get a little bit loose. Let's try that again. Oh, oh delicious, Stuart. Delicious bubbles. I think these are your favourite so far. Let's try a couple more. Oh, very, oh no. Okay, well, Stuart has now got one eye, but that doesn't stop his appetite from being absolutely huge okay Stuart a couple more things to try um where has your eye gone who knows oh here it is here it is there we go he's he's got back to two so we've got our passion fruit or a toothbrush hmm passion fruit or a toothbrush I think let's try the passion fruit see if you like that one nice and slowly this time oh, oh. All in one stew. You have got a very big mouth. Okay, one more thing to eat, and I think we're going to give you the cake since it is my favourite. Um, so, Stuart, I want you to eat this very nicely for me. Let's try. Oh, 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 very nicely. Ah! Okay, <laughs> we're back to one eyed stew. Um, Stuart, I hope you enjoyed your lunch today. And people at home, I hope that your sock puppets, if you have them or if you decide to make them, are a little bit more polite than Stuart was because he doesn't have very good table manners, does he? Okay, Stuart, can you say bye to everyone? There we go. Thank you, Stuart. So now our feeding the sock monster, I'd say, is finished. So we're going to take that one off. And now it's time to sing goodbye to everyone. So we are gonna sing goodbye everyone, goodbye grown-ups, goodbye children, and then uh, we'll do it twice through. So here we go. Goodbye everyone, goodbye children, goodbye grown-ups, it's been good to see you here. And again, goodbye everyone, <laughs> goodbye children, 
goodbye grown-ups it's been good to see you here give yourselves a big clap we had some quite chaotic food things going on today but you all did really well and i'd love to hear what your favorite snack at home is so if you do have a favorite snack do pop it in the comments and we will be able to see that uh, and see what kinds of delicious things you like eating at home now we'll be back on thursday with chatter time it's not going to be a live one this thursday uh, but we will still have a video up so you can access that at any point and we're also back on next tuesday uh, at 10 30 just like today the video on thursday will go up at quarter past two um, and if there's any questions i saw that there was a kind of um, more specific question uh, in the comments if you would like to um, get in contact with us there is actually an email address a bit further up our facebook page we can't really answer kind of specific clinical questions obviously on facebook um, but if you get in touch with the team there's also a referral form on our website if you do think your child um, needs speech and language therapy and you can refer your own child um, so do have a look at the website to find out a little bit more about that process um, but otherwise thank you so much for coming it has been really good to see all of you here thank you uh, and we'll see you soon bye everyone bye